Yo yo and welcome to a new episode of Tutorial Thursday, the series where I try to teach you every week a little new thing about music production and this week we're going to talk about the telephone effect. <music> You might be wondering, what's the telephone effect? The telephone effect is basically an effect that you do via your equalizer, which you can do in any kind of DAW. You're basically gonna replicate the effect, what you hear when people in movies hear a sound in the background of somebody on the telephone. So this effect can be applied to a lot of things, like for instance your voice or a vocal that you received. And you can also do it on leads, which I like to do it. I'm going to show you how I do it as well. So let's start with the basic technique. Let's load up a vocal sample. And we're going to try to make this into a telephone effect. Don't come back. Leave. Run. So the first thing what we're going to do, we're loading up an EQ. The main frequencies that we're going to focus on are the frequencies between 300 and 2000. Those are the frequencies that are really apparent when you're hearing in a phone call. So let's do that on this vocal. Don't come back. Leave. Run. 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 You can hear it already sounds a bit muffled a bit. So when it comes to a vocal, I always like to boost up the frequencies in the middle of this frequency range. And then you get an effect like this. Don't come back. Leave. Which is in a sense the effect that we want. But we can go a little bit more crazy with this and we're going to add an amplifier to really enhance this effect and really make it a bit more gritty so to say. When doing this technique with an amplifier a thing that you should keep in your mind is that an amplifier will add frequencies again. So you need to add an EQ after the amplifier again and take these frequencies down a bit so you can keep the same effect. And then it sounds a bit like this. Don't come back. Don't come back. Don't come back. And should you notice that you have some clipping, it's always good to think about the limiter on the end so you really take down those clipping frequencies a bit. And in the end you get a result like this, which is the basic telephone effect. Don't come back. Please. Run. Next to this vocal effect, I really like to use this effect a lot on my leads to enhance my breakdowns. This is a great way to announce the upcoming lead layer already to your listener. So let's load up a lead layer that I've made, which sounds a bit like this. So that lead layer fills up the whole spectrum and that's not something that we want in the breakdown because we want to add other elements there. So when going about the breakdown for this lead layer, I'm going to do it really simple for this tutorial. And we're going to start with laying out a bass note, which sounds like this. And afterwards we're going to add some strings to that so you have a bit of a theme going and we're just going to borrow some notes from that lead layer. And now the trick is to add a few chords from the main lead layer. So we're just going to take a few that I like and implement them in the breakdown. And then I'm going to add the telephone effect. Almost the way that I want it. It already announces the leads a bit, but it still is a bit too on top of the breakdown instead of in the breakdown. So we're going to add some reverb, make a really long tail, and then you get a result like this. So this is the telephone effect, it's an effect that I use a lot in my own production which I think is really great to enhance certain parts and announce small things that are gonna happen later in the track. So this is a really great effect to get creative with your breakdowns, you can even make it a sort of a radio communication like I did in Epidemic with Sabres. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you like what I do hit that like button, if you haven't already subscribe. There is a new Patreon pack out, the one from September, so you can find that in the description as well. And what's left for me to say is, i see you guys on the next video. Take care, bye bye.